French doctor Jérôme Lejeune earned the title the father of modern genetics for his discovery of the genetic cause of Down syndrome. Now he has another title, Servant of God. We sit down with Jérôme Lejeune's wife and hear how her late husband used medicine and research to uphold life. Here is this week's Pro-Life Focus. What measure the amount of civilization is the amount of respect given to the smallest of us. In a rare interview, the late Jérôme Lejeune speaks about defending life for the most vulnerable. It was a mission he took seriously as a Catholic doctor, and even more so after, in 1958, the French professor discovered the genetic cause of Down syndrome. He thought that all uh, doctors would be happy to research, to find, to cure them. But uh, sadly, all government not only in France said, oh, it's a very wonderful discovery. You can detect these little sick ch children before they are born and so take them away with an abortion. Madame Berthe Lejeune tells us her late husband was heartbroken when instead of a cure or care, many doctors used his discovery to kill babies prenatally diagnosed with a genetic condition. When he died, he was very anxious to know who could continue his uh, fight to protect these children. It was Lejeune's pro-life work that captured the attention of a saint. He frequently met with Pope John Paul II. The professor and pontiff formed a friendship and were with each other only hours before a historically horrifying moment. We got a message, the Pope invite you for lunch. So we were in lunch and then we went back to Paris and in that moment the Pope went down and they, they tried to kill him. From the 1981 assassination attempt to when Lejeune was named the first Pontifical Academy for Life president in 1994, the two remained close even after the doctor's death. St. John Paul II insisted on visiting Lejeune's grave outside Paris in 1997. I think he, that was a sign. Today, Lejeune's own cause for sainthood has begun. And while the church explores the servant of God's life, Lejeune's wife is focused on spreading his vision worldwide with the Jerome Lejeune Institute. In France, the Institute runs the first specialized and paramedical consultation center in Europe that provides medical care for over 8,500 patients with Down syndrome and other intellectual disabilities. I want very much that we can do what we did in Paris for the, the consultation of Down syndrome that you should do the same thing in the States. It's set to happen. In May of 2020, the Jerome Lejeune Hospital for Children and Adults with Down Syndrome in America will open. During his life, Lejeune shattered stereotypes about Down Syndrome. Down Syndrome is not what defines me. And after his death, the U.S. hospital in his name will carry on how the French doctor practiced medicine. Medicine is a very simple application of knowledge. It is the hate of the disease and the love for the patient. What good news that Servant of God, Jerome Lejeune's vision is spreading here to the U.S. If you want to know more and even be involved with the Hospital for Children and Adults with Down Syndrome in America, there's a special website you can go to. Go to ewtn.lejeunefoundation.org.